Hey, what's going on? Uh, as many of you guys know, there's a uh, huge food out right now. Well, huge as in popular. Um, it's the Mac and Cheetos from Burger King. And recently, a YouTube channel by the name Pop Sugar Food released a video on how to make them. And today I'm gonna take that to the test and try them out and give you my opinions for any of you guys who care. So let's do it. You're gonna need eggs, Cheetos, flour, mac and cheese, milk. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make the mac and cheese. You're gonna make the mac and cheese and then freeze it. Once frozen, you need to make little mac and cheese balls. Cheetos, you're gonna wanna take these, put them in a blender. And blend them up to tiny little crumbs. You're gonna take eggs and milk and put them in a cup. I will leave the proper ingredients and what the measurements are in the description, uh, but you will also need a fryer. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that cheese ball that you rolled up and you're gonna put it in the flour and you're gonna roll it up in the flour and then you're gonna proceed into the milk and the eggs that you stirred up and then into the Cheetos. Make sure you cover the ball of mac and cheese thoroughly and then it is ready to be fried. Freeze them for 30 minutes. Now you are ready to drop those bad boys into the fryer. Leave them in there between two to three minutes or until golden brown, or until however you want them. The shape of your mac and cheese bite depends on how you make them in the process before freezing. When they are frozen, they will stay in that shape. I went with more of a cheese ball style. So if you want yours in the shape of a Cheeto, make sure you do that in the process. All right, so we have it all fried up. Here it goes. So hot. But they're really good. These are really good. But also really hot. So yeah, I recommend uh, I recommend this. Um, I'll post what I did and what um, is recommended in the description and uh, you guys try this let me know in the comments they taste really good